What's up, spectators? Welcome back to the episode of 999. We're here with Santa and Akane, and we're going into room six on, like, the C deck. The, the lowest deck. Yeah. It seemed like the most interesting because it's the lowest it. deck. Hey! I found it! It's right there! There we go. See, it's finally getting a lot easier. Not everyone's panicking. Uh. <sighs> okay, yeah, yeah. Stopped. <laughs> yes! It stopped! That's what I just said! Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. Oh, I forgot Ace was with us. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. You got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. What? But this is like a vacation. What are you talking about? This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. Whoa, what the hell is this? This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. Huh. Could be two stories, maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. What's that huge Kamaboko looking building in the middle? I don't know what a Kamaboko is. Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. Sure, making up stairs, words. So we may as well head over to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. This looks to be the steam engine room. The steam engine room? Yes, that thing that looks like a cross-section of a mushroom is the boiler. Do you see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. All right, let's split up. Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? Hey, June. Jumpy. You, oh, you're, you're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes, he, yes, it probably is, but I'm fine. Please, don't worry about me. Okay. I just need to rest and I'll be fine. Isn't that convenient? As soon as we have to start investigating and doing work, it's like, oh, well, I just need some rest. Okay, okay, uh, here, just sit down, uh, careful. Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right, all right, let's get started. Hang in there, June. I'm gonna get you out of here real soon. I'd say this is probably here to move coal from place to place. It probably comes from over there. Where's there? And then the belt carries it down the tunnel and out here. So if the conveyor belt was moving, the coal would almost certainly come out here. Hmm, it's a square hole. Nothing in here. Look at the back wall there. I can see three small slots. Terminals for some sort of connector, perhaps. You mean you think we're supposed to plug something in here? Perhaps. What if I just do this? Look at that button. It's glowing orange. That's gotta mean something. I guess pressing it is the best way to find out if it does anything. Hmm, nothing. Okay, moving on. Golden wheel, a golden gear. Doesn't look like it was always golden like this. Well then, I imagined it was prepared especially for this game. Okay. This gear's rusty, but it looks like it's still pretty sturdy. It looks like there's a door over here. The belt over there must deliver the coal, which is then picked up and thrown into this door. The door appears to be welded shut. Okay. 
This is where you put coal into the furnace. I had to look at it earlier, but it's rusted shut, I'm afraid. Perhaps you should check the other side. There's a pair of wooden boxes here. There's nothing in them. Okay. Look! It's some kind of snowman secret meeting. Those are just bags of sand. You use them as a counterweight when you're lifting something with a pulley system. Man, you're too serious. Nah, Santa just didn't know. Okay, I can't use them though. It's a silver gear. You think it's made of pure silver? No way. Silver's way too soft to use for a gear. It's gotta be steel or iron gear that's been coated with silver. Shouldn't have called it a silver gear then. Shouldn't have got your hopes up. Were you thinking you'd haul this thing back? Nah, but I think Seven could probably carry it, don't you? Okay. This thing's huge. I guess a ship this big needs something like that to power it. True, but I doubt a single boiler of this size could actually move a ship like this at any reasonable speed. You need at least three, no, four of these. I guess you know a lot about boats, huh? Well, not really. It's just common sense, you know. Is it? I believe this opening's for fueling the furnace. If we were to put some coal in here and ignite it, then the steam engine might start working. It's certainly possible. Hmm. I think you're supposed to put coal in through these, but they're welded shut. I don't think we can get these open. Okay. Stairs stretch from the catwalk to the boiler. Well, can I actually go places? Okay, here we go. What's this? Given its placement, this must unlock the door to the left. There's a weird indentation on the top of this thing. You think that means you have to insert something here? I would imagine so. Hmm. There's a thick iron door blocking our way. That's a door? Doesn't even look like a door to me. You think this is... Yes. It looks like the exit. Looks like this door slides up into the ceiling. Ah. Oh man, Junpei. I can't believe I missed something so important. Look at those stairs. Look at them carefully. That gap. That height. That angle. It's perfect. For what? Whatever, just bring Clover here right now. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, well, I will not do that. <laughs> now, from here... Where... Can I just go up? Oh, not what I meant to do. I already looked through those. There's nothing there. I'm trying to click the stairs. There we go. Well, just start flipping shit. The slider is down. Let's see if I can get this thing to go anywhere. No dice. This thing isn't going anywhere. What about this one? Damn it. Nothing. This thing won't budge. What about this one? Nothing. Won't move at all. Well, at least we all tried. The three wheels on the left are down, but this one's up. There are a number of lines engraved in these. I suspect we were meant to do something rather specific. Why don't you move that slider down? Well, there's no harm in trying. Nothing. Maybe it needs to be prepared somehow. Hmm. This is the door we came through when we entered the steam engine room. Okay. So that staircase was actually pointless. Hmm. A 
A huge bronze gear has to be important. Small door in the tunnel, welded shut, won't open. It's a bit of a sticky situation. What are we gonna do here? Nope, nope, not what I meant to do. Ah, I can keep going up. Okay, okay. One of the doors on the furnace. There's an A on it. There's a circular wheel in the center of the door. Let's give that sucker a twist. Well, it's noisy, but it opens. And it's totally pitch black in there. We should go in here. All right. Let's go. Yo, that's... This looks just like the door we went into. Where are we? We must be on the other side, yes? Which would put us directly above the conveyor belt. At any rate, we should keep moving. There's a great deal we've yet to investigate. Hmm. Hmm. A whole bunch of boxes. Can't get through. What is this? What? Looks like a hand-operated winch, but doesn't look like there's any way to operate it. That means the wheel isn't attached. Uh-huh, okay. It's only thing through here, so what is in B? Another winch. Let's give this wheel a spin. What? That's weird. I don't feel any resistance. Isn't that convenient? Good job, genius! You broke it. I didn't break it. It broke by itself. You broke it. Alright, now let's try to go back through B, and then back through C. And should daisy I got the wheel I pulled off the other winch. Let's see if it fits. Sweet. Not shaky at all. Good. I should be able to turn this now. Good work, Junpei. We should be able to haul up the wooden box now. You see? The wooden box. It's under the catwalk. Can you see it? It's hanging from the- Okay, you don't have to describe it anymore! We'll just pull it up and we'll get what's in it. I'm not sure what it is. I'll just keep talking to you. I'm still talking to you. I'll turn the wheel. What's this? What happened? This wheel only turns to the left. It only turns to the left. That means we can't reel up that rope. We can only let the rope down. Interesting. I don't think that'll be a problem. We'll simply need to go downstairs after letting the wooden box down. I'll be counting on you. I'm still talking. I believe the box has reached the floor. Yeah. June's down yeah. over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not gonna just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. I don't know, I mean, she can get worse all of a sudden for no reason, what so... What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Fakeness, perhaps? Nah, it's gotta be exhaustion. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? Ugh, I forgot what I was doing for a second. Okay, so we need to go back down. So we gotta go C, and then A, and we can go down. One of the great metal ribs of the ship. Not what I meant to see. Here it is. Control panel for something. Well, we know what that something is. 
It's funny that it just comes out of another box, like you fit this in, like a computer. You did it! Everything looks all right. Okay, but what do we do now? Why don't you press the button next to it? The orange one, yes. All right. Pushing. All sorts of lights are lighting up on this thing. And, oh, yes, I think I just heard something turn on. It was me. What's that? What happened? The conveyor belt's moving. Well, I guess it's done moving now. There's still a bunch of coal on the belt, though. It looks like a bunch of it got dumped off the end of the belt into that wooden box we found at the control panel. Okay. So now we have coal to place into these things. This is where the coal goes, or would go if all three of these things hadn't rusted shut. There was something else that could take it. Where was that? Um, was it on the other side? Oh, it was here. There's a hole that'll let us put coal into the furnace. Maybe if we can get some coal in there and set it on fire. Let's do it. All right, that's the last of it. No coal left in the box. And nothing. I guess I should have expected that. Why would just throwing coal into a cold furnace do anything? Ah, well, a man can dream. June play. June play. Ugh, having a hard time talking. Explain it to me again. You're planning to stoke the furnace with coal, which will heat the water stored up there and make steam, which will then drive something else, am I correct? In other words, you want to generate enough pressure with the steam to power the turbine and drive the steam engine. Yeah, I guess. Well, in that case, this isn't enough coal. This furnace is enormous, so we're going to need a whole hell of a lot more coal than this. Very well, then. If the three of us work together, then we should manage to fill it much faster. I want to help, too. I totally didn't even see her walk up. Are you feeling up to that? Yes. You look like you're one stiff breeze away from falling over, June. I think you'd better rest some more, all right? But no arguing. Back to bed. Okay, I understand. If you insist, I'll go back to sleep. Time for some manly work. Let's get this coal into those furnaces. This is a lot of work. All right, I think this should be sufficient. Now we just gotta light it. Junpei, hand me your matches. What makes you think I have matches? I see. Then how are we gonna light it? Perhaps there's a device nearby that'll allow us to remotely ignite the coal. Let's take a look, shall we? Some sort of ignition device. Well, there's only one thing left, which is up this, yes. I think it might be. Probably is. Here we go! Look at this! This big gear is turning under the boilers here. The gears. They're spinning. What are you guys waiting for? Let's start looking. Oh, there we go. Okay. Gold disc. Bronze disc. And silver disc. Now the three discs go into the other, here we go, up these stairs. Yes, 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 I, I, okay, I, I, oh. That's odd. Nothing's happening. Maybe you're, I don't know, putting them in the wrong places? Perhaps you have them facing the wrong directions. Perhaps you should rotate them. Hmm, well, no harm in trying. When the disc is pressed, it'll rotate a certain amount. When the white arrow is pressed, the discs are switched. 
Please note when the discs are switched, the angles for the discs are reset. Um, I'm... Okay, well, I can kind of guess what they're getting at, so what... Uh-huh. You want it like this, which means this has to be at the top. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Too easy. The red lines on these discs, I think maybe I can make a star polygon with these. Yes, the door's open. All right, Junpei. Why don't you go get June now? Santa and I will keep an eye on the store. Why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, we know how to solve the puzzle now. We could just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shall all three of us go and collect June then? Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. So are you only interested in being contrary? All right, I'll go get June. I'll be right back. Oh, Jumpy! Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. Uh, let me check. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. Uh-huh. Okay. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Oops, I mean, <laughs> warrior. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Go where? Oh, right. I didn't tell you. We got the exit open, so... Great! Let's go! Oh, it's... Santa? What are you looking at? It's a photo. It's my sister. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. She was only about an inch tall then? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, sorry. I guess an inch is a little large for a button. Probably more like a half inch. Mm. <laughs> sorry. Why are you looking at it? <sighs> Why are you looking at things that make you happy? I was her Why? Santa Claus. Wait. What? Have you ever heard the story of the two Santa Clauses? It goes that a long time ago, there were two Santas. One of them wore white, and the other one wore black. The white Santa gave presents to good kids, and the black Santa played tricks on bad kids. They went on like that for a while, but eventually the black Santa's tricks started to get worse and worse. Pretty soon, the white Santa couldn't stand it anymore, and he stabbed the black Santa to death. Well, he could have just offered better gifts to compensate. <laughs> when he stabbed the other Santa, the white Santa got blood all over his clothes. And that's why, these days, his clothes are red. You could say that red is all that's left of the black Santa. I wonder which Santa I am. The white Santa, or the black Santa. Or the red Santa. Huh. Aww. Uh. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. All right. All right, we made Let's it awkward. Go. Huh? Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving, come on! Let's go. Yeah. Oh, you're finally back. Sorry we took so long. I mean, Santa was just sitting on the stairs. We couldn't get past him. We had to Let's listen go. to his story. Huh. Is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going! Hmm. I'm conflicted because we just got out of a puzzle room, but now we're in another puzzle room, and it's been 24 minutes. Ah! Uh, this place seems kind of large. It might take a bit of effort. If I tried to do it, this video would probably end up being like 50 minutes long, and we can't have that, can we? So I guess I will end this video here at about 24, 25 minutes. So stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.